Hello guys, welcome to my SIP prototype video. I right off the bat, I will admit that I have not gotten a lot done. Not as much as I wanted to. In fact, I haven't gotten anything done um, because of the class, the other class that I'm currently in, which is level design. And I've just been so focused on the level that I'm building just because number one, I really want to make sure I get a good grade. And number two, I'm just so into my level that I'm creating that I just haven't been focused as much as I should have been on this class. Um, I know what I want to do with my app, and I definitely need to start doing some more research with it. But with the uh, with these classes coming to a close, and we got um, December break coming up. I'll just work on it then. Um, do some more research, I should say, and get the, uh, some of the software that I need and hopefully get my hands on an Oculus Quest. I really want to get one, not just for this project, but because I really want one. I have an Oculus Rift, but I really hated it because it was core. It's wired. And I always hated that about virtual reality. Why not just wait until you get a headset that's completely wireless? That way it gives a player better immersion. I never knew understood why they would have a headset that come out that would come out that's wired that limits the player with how far they can go. I mean, it's cool nonetheless. When I first got my reality headset, it was amazing. I loved it. I loved the games, especially Beat Saber. But I really want the Oculus Quest so you don't have to worry about the wires. So what you guys are seeing currently is what I believe to be the pass-through mode for Oculus Quest. Oculus Rift has the um, safety system called the Guardian system that shows you a boundary that you set you set up yourself before when you get the headset headset and set it up. So basically, you walk around your room that you cleared up with space, and you walk around the border of how close you are to objects. And in the game, it just shows you, if you get too close to your border, it shows you this grid. So you know that you're way too close to the border. But Oculus Quest stepped it up a notch. And it shows you both the grid as well as your surroundings. It shuts off whatever you're playing, I believe, is what pass-through is. And shows you your surroundings. Which I think is pretty cool. That's helpful. Um, that way you can see where you are. But my idea for the app is to have this pass through without the grid. So basically the person will be wearing a very high tech pair of glasses. We're going to call them player one and player two. So player one will put the headset on, jump into the app, and they will basically see this. They'll see their surroundings and know where they are. Then they will share their screen with player two, with who they, whom they choose. And player two will be able to look through their eyes, player one's eyes, to see what they're seeing. And this won't just be in home either. This will be, you could go outside, since it's not cable bound, you can go outside. That's what I'm really stressing about this app. You know, player one can go outside. Let's say player one's in France and player two is in the United States and player two wants to see the Eiffel Tower. But instead of using regular, you know, FaceTime, step it up a notch, make it more immersive with this, this app. Player one will throw their headset on. They'll be able to see their surroundings so they don't trip into anything or run into any danger. And then they'll show their screen with player two, and player two will be able to look through that head, their headset, see their screen in a way, as if they're standing right there with them. So they'll be able to look at the Eiffel Tower in real time, number one, and number two, see the real size of whatever they're seeing. That's the biggest thing that I've wa I wanted to do with this app. Um, and then you could, there's a possible way of switching it. So that way, 
you know, player one can now view what player two sees. Another thing I wanted to do was set it up where there's a w ability to pause the screen. If there's players that are very motion sick, are very prone to motion sickness, like I am, um, it depends on w when I'm playing VR. Sometimes the motion sickness gets to me f very fast, and other times I can go an hour or so of playing and it doesn't bother me at all. Um, but I wanted to keep those players in mind that get motion sick. And if you're looking through a player one's headset as they're walking around, that's probably going to mess with your head. So I wanted to put in a feature where they could pause, use like the main menu. Maybe there's a main menu like down here that only pops up when you look down. So that way when you're looking straight up, you're not having to worry about the main menu being blocking your view. And they hit pause and it basically pauses the screen at what you're at what you're currently seeing. So that way player one can move to the next area that they want to show off. And once they do, they can let you know because there's going to be in-app audio. And once they say, you know, I'm here, unpause, the player can look down, unpause, and be able to see what player one is seeing. That's basically my idea. I also wanted to do, this is a pretty big idea as well with this app, is um, environmental bliss which is the idea is to set up cameras VR capable cameras throughout the world in places that are very beautiful very serene um, calming just amazing places around the world that players when they get into this app they can link to those cameras and be able to see through the cameras seeing the view in real time there are some apps out there that have pictures i believe and videos of real world places that are converted into vr so players can feel like they're sitting there but at the end of the day it's it's like a still image or it's a video it's not real time you know and that's the biggest thing i want to stress about this app is and that's one of the biggest ideas that I have is just setting up cameras all around the world that people can link to. You could just look at the world map and like choose a country, then choose a, a place in the country and choose whatever camera is set up in that con in that area. And you'll be able to see what the camera is seeing in real time. And just enjoy that beauty of wherever it is or peace, you know. Uh, maybe it's like out in the middle of a beautiful rainforest and you're just sitting there looking around you. And I, I want—I don't know if how I would set up 360 degree field of view for VR. But even if it was just like one shot you get to just look through. You get to see it in real time. You get to see animals pass by. You can see if it's raining. It, I just, I have big sights for this app. Uh, another thing I wanted to do is like sporting events where uh, people can set up cameras at, at sporting events. So so it would they could hook to those cameras and it feel like they're actually at the sporting event. Now I know you can't just do that for free. <laughs> So there's going to be a way you'd have to like pay. You're going to have to pay somehow. I don't know if that would be through subscriptions or whatever, but people would have to pay for that to be able to view. You know, they can't just link to a uh, camera. They can't just link to a camera with a event sporting event and not you know not pay so i'll have to figure that out but that's another idea i have so that way you know you could set up the cameras like right on the court so that way it seems like they've got like front row seats just sitting there watching the game like the, as if they were actually there i think that'd be so freaking awesome <laughs> just like you know you know i feel like going to a basketball game throw the headset on buy a ticket however it's gonna work and oh that's actually a good idea Maybe in the app we could have 
um, like the NBA or something, control it, and they put their tickets up on the app, and you can just buy a ticket, and or you just basically purchase a ticket, in quotes, uh, air quotes, and then you can see the game. You feel like you're standing right there on the court watching the game. I thought that would be so freaking awesome. Um, like I said, I haven't done too much with it. I really am bummed out about it. Because as, like I said, it's not that I chose not to do it. It's just I was so lost in my level design <laughs> class that the week has just gone by so fast. And then here we are Sunday and I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I'm just trying to, I know what I want to do with the app. I do. Um, I just need to really focus, especially on next week for the last week to try and, uh, get as much stuff done as I can. I keep muting the audio cause I'm like burping and yawning and I don't want to mess it up. Um, I added a few things to the site just, uh, like the innovation brief. I think I already had that on my first page. I don't know. Um, but as far as I know, this is what the uh, disabling guardian system. I'm guessing that's what that can't be guardian system because it doesn't show unless that's just a picture of the background. But I assume this is what pass through looks like because I looked up virtual reality pass through, and I couldn't really find anything else. And it stings too because I have like no links to show either of research that I've done. This is my prototype video. That's basically the setup that I want. That's how I want the app to work. Uh, there's Like I said, you look down and there'll be like a little menu along the bottom of the bar. Um, at the bottom of the screen, I should say. You look up, it disappears. Maybe like as you look up, it goes down. So it disappears that way. And then when you come look down... It comes up, and then um, just use one of the remotes to be able to click a option. And I always want to bring this up. Somebody once asked me when I told them about this app, like, would people really walk around with headsets? And my question to that in public, my question, my answer to that would be yes. Yes, they would. I have no doubt in my mind that people would actually do this. Think about all the inventions in the world that you have heard of that you're like, are you serious? People actually bought that? There's been inventions that I've seen that are like that. It's just like, are you serious? Somebody got rich off of that? Not that I'm saying I'll get rich off of this, but you get the point. You know, you're like, somebody got rich off of that idea? Or, wait, people are actually buying this? It just... You... You gotta know people. And people... If they like it, they're gonna buy it. You know? And if they like it, they're gonna do it. And I honestly see... People... Walking around the street... With an Oculus Quest on, showing somebody from pro possibly ac across the world their country. Like I said, it's passed through, so they'll see their surroundings. They'll see everybody around them. It's not like they're just walking blind either. I mean, will it look weird, somebody just walking out in public with a headset on? Yeah. But look at all the people. I honestly think it would be safer than Pokemon Go was. How people were just like, constantly looking at their phones and running into things, running into, walking out into traffic. So I think it's safer than that. At least you get to see your surroundings, you know? Um, and honestly, I see this is how a future could be too. People walking around with headsets on doing a lot of stuff, not just, not just using the app. But people walking around with virtual reality headsets on, doing computer work as they're walking down the street. And I, I, just, I just think that could be a part of the future. I could see that happening. As like a step forward, in a way. 
but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, that's my prototype. That's my current idea of where I stand. Got to do a lot more research with it to be able to get this off the ground and figure out how different components are going to work. And I can't wait to get this started. Hope you guys enjoyed.